even as we have worked uh, some years on, on personal data and, and, and my data, uh, we are still in the early phases. Uh, and, and there are high expectations uh, and it will be painfully slow to get things uh, uh, going the way, the way in, we envision. Uh, one by one, we are getting there. Um, and I think it follows a similar pattern as with, as with open data. There are very high promises, then maybe some disappointments, uh, and then gradually uh, it becomes we see the productivity benefits and we see the benefits for, for individuals and we see new companies and new, new innovations. Um, one thing that I see important, I mean, first of all, uh, uh, to get uh, all kinds of, of organizations, uh, cities, universities, nonprofits, and of course, companies and individuals uh, to participate in the ecosystem that we still need to get better at and getting places from, uh, getting people and organizations from all kinds of places, including Turkey, uh, involved. Uh, and then, then the other important thing that it's not only about personal data, it's not only about my data, rather uh, some of the best services um, might be a result of combining uh, different types of data, be it personal data, private data, be it open data, and perhaps some, some kind of shared or, or somewhere in, in between. Uh, and, 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 and those might all be needed for those kind of what, what, what are called the, 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 the killer apps. Uh, and, more, more, and more and more of that is happening in cities uh, and in governments. Uh, uh, they are not thinking only of, hey, we have this open data or, hey, we have this personal data, but rather, rather having a comprehensive data strategies and data teams and data usage uh, uh, plans and data innovation labs, which take into account these different different types of, of data. And, and we welcome that very much.